Abdurrahman. I'm a lecturer at the public university in Kenya. I deliver lectures in computing and informatics. In our last lesson, we talked about the relational operators and basically we talked about the equal sign, not equal sign, greater than sign, less than sign, greater than or equal sign, and less than or equal sign. And today we are going to take up uh, another topic that is the logical operator. So under logical operator, basically there are only three. There are only three operators under the logical operator. So this is the symbol. Uh, this is the symbol of the logical operator. It is the ampersand, double ampersand, and this particular double ampersand it means the logical and. The, the logical and basically it is true if all the operand are uh, are true. So it is true when all the operand are true. So both the operand or more than one operand must be true. All of them must be true. If only one it is false, then this one also will be false. So all the operand must be true for the AND to hold true. The second one, it is the logical OR. The logical OR, it is represented by the two pipe signs. And for it to be true, only one operand must be true. So for the OR, only one operand must be true for it to hold true. So for the third one, basically here we are talking about it is the NOT or the exclamation mark means not. So the logical not, the logical not, it is true if the operand is false. So this one will hold true if the operand is false. So basically those are the three important uh, logical uh, operators. So let's go to the dev C++ and see how we can implement it. So here we are going to declare some variables. Let's take for example, we are declaring an integer variable A and we are assigning it the value of 10. And then another one B, assigning it a value of 10. And then we are having up a C and we are signing the value of 20. So, and then we are going to have our operands that it is the AND. Another operand, the OR. And the last operand, the NOT. So let's see the logic of using up the AND, uh, the logical AND. Here, basically, we can say AND should be assigned to, let's take for example, uh, A equals to B A equals to B. So we are using up the AND operator. So the AND operator there we have. And uh, also here we are saying that A it is less than C. So from this particular uh, st uh, statement or expression, we can actually see A it is true. It is equals to B 
and a is less than c therefore this one holds all the operand are true so it's going to return up true or it's going to return up one so we go to the or or uses up a pipe a double pipes so for this particular one only one operand can be true for it to hold up a true at the end of the day so let's take for example we are saying a equals to c which is false or so you are using up the or operator the logical or or we can say that uh, a I mean C is greater than A which is true so C it is greater than A which is true so this although it holds although it holds one false but one true then the output should be true and we should get up a value of one and then we are coming up to the last one the not the note basically um, let's take for example we are saying a is not equal to c a is not equal to c so uh, or a is not equal to b which is true i mean which is uh, is not equal to c a is not equal to c which is true and we are using up the AND operator and we are saying here basically C is less than A C is less than A so this is true but this is false C it is greater than A so this one will return false and it will turn or a zero so basically uh, this is the logic of using up uh, the logical operation let's run this particular program and see what happens and see what happens nothing happens because we have not put up a print statement so we have to put up a print statement print f and here on a print f statement we are putting up our format specifier so here what are we saying we want and equals to so format per specifier percentage d so it will give us uh, that one for and and then we have got uh, putting up a new line feed and then we're having up our or equals to and then we are having up percentage d and lastly we have uh, another new feed line and you're having up the not equals to percentage d here basically this is the first part of the syntax the second part we are putting up our variables so our variables they are and or and not and then all statement must be terminated so we are terminating up our statement so let's run and see what happens so when we execute and we run this particular program basically it gives us our answers as the way they are and returns true which is one or returns true which is one and not return zero which it is false so basically uh, this is the end of our logical operators and uh, in our next lesson we are going to talk about the bitwise operator however don't forget to subscribe below for more videos thank you mm -hmm.